Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, Doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger. It's making me stronger helping him. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot to live up to. And what is that? In my case, Lou. He went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, Jack Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on a case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks that might be linked to some fires he's investigating. You look pale, doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at the club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. I've always so enjoyed my conversation. <sighs> I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly end. I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven. The next slide.